Hi, I'm Lou. Welcome to my YouTube. I'm in Florida and I'm going to be going on a very fast group ride tonight. Pretty nervous about it. Got me a best Queen of the Mountain t-shirt on. My tip for getting the Queen of the Mountains in segments where you're riding with people who are a lot faster than you is upload first, then take a screenshot of you getting the Queen and then wait for it to all get taken away when everyone else uploads. Did that with Ginger yesterday on our ride. Today we're riding with a whole new bunch of people. It's called the Disney Fast Pass Ride and yeah I'm pretty nervous. I think it's going to be very pacey. There's a really good chance I'm going to get dropped but I'm giving it a go anyway. It's going to be very very good training <laughs> and hopefully we should be able to enjoy it. It ends up near a brewery and possibly we pass the brewery on the route too so I may end up at the brewery sooner than the end who knows but I'm gonna be getting ready shortly I'm going with Ben and Ginger Rob's given us a lift over there and we'll see us in the brewery after I'm going to talk to Ben to get some tips on how to cling on I've been honing the art of clinging on for quite a few years now but I think he can give us a few pointers on how best to complete a fast ride like this so let's go and chat to Ben Okay, here's Ben. So, hi Ben. Hello. Can you please give me some tips for this group ride on how I might survive? Well, I think we're going to do Disney Fast Pass tonight. Um, this is a ride that I found through Strava Stocking, and I, uh, <laughs> I advise uh, looking in advance what others have done, um, seeing maybe if they have power data, and if you compare, mm -hmm. uh, if you match up. Just try to assume you would understand uh, what size that individual was. So, you know, ladies look for similar size ladies, compare your power data, or men look for men similar size and compare your power data. If it's not available, just look and see if if you can do that speed on, mm -hmm. um, on your own, uh, knowing that within the group, you can save so much energy, you know, the size of the group dictates how much efficiency, you know, or how much drafting there is. So yeah. um, sitting second, third wheel is much, much easier than being on the front. So mm -hmm. if it's daunting, then being on the front or being by yourself, uh, those speeds are, you know, impossible. Then you you know that sitting behind a group of people, you, you should be able to, to finish. Uh, What's your expectation of later? Do you think that I'll be able to cling on? <laughs> I think you'll be able to do do well. Um, for example, uh, my wife is joining us on this ride and uh, she's been talking to a local and the local is encouraging her. They're similar size and I noticed that they ride about the same time per week, you know, as in hours per week. They ride the same speeds often um, and actually it helps because now they both use power and I can compare their power, both similar size. So. Um, I think based on Ginger's, uh, my wife's ability, you two are very similar. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys could do just fine um, in, a, in a comparison, you know, as long as you're just smart sitting within the group, not necessarily doing too much on the front and um, not getting yourself in a position where you're too far behind because towards yes. the back of the group, you'll, you'll see um, the same type of individual struggling uh, to just to, to stay on pace so um, just assert yourself and keep position within the group um, I suppose I'm just nervous with going to a new group you don't know the riders and nervous yeah. about being safe and yeah. avoiding crashes and well, that kind of stuff too some tips for doing a ride well no matter whether you've been in a group before or if you're new to a group I would say like do all of the things in advance like charging lights cleaning the bikes pumping up the tires and be ready water bottles so that all day you're not rushing at the end mm -hmm. to get prepared um, and if there is something you've overlooked you, you can do one final check and then um, the next step would be having an expectation what the ride would be like and that's the advance you know like we just spoke about but knowing what uh, to expect from yourself you know is it just about finishing the ride or is it about performing on the ride, doing something. My like role within um, group rides is, is typically leading, but in this case, I wanna just make sure everybody's having a good time. I wanna have a good time. Uh, so I would encourage you guys, um, but maybe don't take too much advice from people that you're don't, you're, you don't know or you're mm -hmm. not familiar with. Mm -hmm. 
That's always interesting, isn't it? Tips from people that don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> What's their level of experience? How do they know what your level of experience is? Mm -hmm. Stick with, you know, people that you know. Um, but that's a good um, segue there is I would make it a point to show up in advance prepared with all of these things like the lights charged, the tires pumped up. That way you can introduce yourself to the people that you're about to ride with. Be friendly, be social in advance, but then once you're on the bike, let yourself settle into a rhythm mm -hmm. and then begin socializing after you've you know established whether or not you'll be doing just fine on the ride or if it is just gonna be about clinging on. Um, <laughs> but I would say <sighs> go into it having the expectations, being prepared, having some confidence in yourself, and, and maybe don't look for too much advice from outside un unless you can tell um, a ride leader is, is, is there to share sound advice, or, or in our case, we ride a lot together, so um, take advice from, from myself, or just follow kind of the, the smoothest, the, the most, um, experienced wheels within mm -hmm. the group yeah. um, and you'll notice that um, I couldn't ride like you know a, a, a crazy person the whole day uh, I, I'd have to save myself anyways if I if I wanted to perform on the front of the ride but this is about seeing you guys do well yeah so, um, we'll try and enjoy it yeah we'll just stick together <laughs> and, and finish it finish it off strong afterwards I think we're gonna have uh, some beer so maybe we can reconvene then um, and celebrate or drown our sorrows I'm not sure like, <laughs> absolutely which it would be absolutely thank you Ben I think it's time for us to get ready yep, let's do this <laughs> thank you okay we've arrived let's get ready <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how's it going? We're here. We made it on time. Enjoy. Okay, we're off. The pace is fast, but it's all right. I'm sat fairly comfortably behind Ben and Ginger there, and we're rolling along about 23 miles an hour at this stage. Then stuff like this starts happening. Matey boy on my right there is trying to undertake me. Matey boy head is dropping back. It's just a mess. Wheels are starting to overlap and I'm starting to feel anxious about people chopping around me. And that's when I start to ease off a little bit so I can feel in a safer space. Here comes the bit that happens on group rides all the time, sprinting out of corners. It's basically like interval training, you're sprinting like a maniac and then you're not even pedalling a couple of seconds later. Another cheeky undertake happening here. I can see it's because I'm not holding the wheel in front close enough to his liking. I just don't feel safe enough to do that and matey boy undertaking me doesn't make me feel any safer and it's just not cool to do on a group ride. We sprinted out of another corner, but I just didn't have the sprint to catch back on, so the group is now going to get further and further away from me. I decide now is probably a good time to have a little pity party. Not fun. Very quickly has become a, what's the point? I'm now on a solo effort. And yeah, good training, but my confidence has taken a hit though. This isn't good. I know there's a load of them behind me, but even if they catch me, can I hop on? Don't know, because I've been in a solo effort now for 10 minutes. Then a couple of minutes later, some sort of miracle happens. I take a left at some lights and that's the main group. I've somehow caught them. You can tell by my breathing, I'm absolutely dying and I don't know where this guy came from, but I'm gonna hop on and catch back up. <laughs> The three of us worked really hard to get back onto the group, but we got caught out a couple of sets of lights and it just became impossible. So we decided to turn around about half a mile before they were going to, thinking that the group would catch us at any point on the way back. Somehow they didn't, but I think that had a lot to do with the fact that we then met up with Ben and Ginger, who had just turned around, and Ben led us into a mega pace line all the way back to the finish. <laughs> Well, we survived, but that was mental. 
Ben, how would you sum that up? I enjoyed every minute. I'm having to hold my phone with two hands because of the shakes. By the way, we beat everyone back. Here they are. Mostly. Took a little shortcut. <laughs> That was hell. But the moral of the story is do not give up. Because when I was having my little tantrum about being dropped, I then caught the group because they got stuck at light. So don't drop off, don't give up. Just keep going because you don't know what's happening ahead. Good training. Oh my God, I need a beer. We went to the New York Beer Project for some beers and some dinner after the ride. Now it's all over. I'm really glad we did it. It was excellent training, but it was just full on very, very fast ride, which we knew it would be. So no surprises there. I just want to be fitter and faster. So it was good training for that. If you're in the area and if you're fast, consider going along and just cling on. I'll put a link in the description to my Strava so you can have a little look if you want to. And tomorrow morning, we'll be going on more of a social ride around Disney. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I can encourage you to go to some fast group rides, do some good prep beforehand. The most important thing for me was making sure that I had lights that were charged and I had the route because once I dropped off, I wouldn't have had a clue where we were going because I couldn't even see the rest of the riders at certain stages of it. So I'm glad we all survived. No crashes, no disasters, all good, good training. <laughs> That's it for now. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. If you don't subscribe, Please do, and I will see you soon.